Live from WSLS, this is 10 News at 6, working for you. Now at 6, winter weather in southwest Virginia as we give you a live look from Blacksburg tonight. The snow and ice leading to fun outdoors for some people this weekend, but also dangerous conditions out on the highways. We're working for you with live team coverage across the region as we monitor this winter storm. Good evening and thank you for joining us for 10 News at 6. I'm John Carl. I'm Brittany McGraw. We are dealing with a winter storm that is affecting everyone watching tonight. We sure are. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowich is here to show us how much snow we've gotten so far and the biggest concern as we move into the hours still ahead. Jeff? Yeah, it's a wintry mess out there. And, and you know, when you have a winter storm headed our, your way, you want everything to be in the way of snow. When you add on sleet and freezing rain, it compounds things tenfold. So fact of the matter is this, we're seeing every type of precipitation imaginable right now. As far as snowfall totals are concerned in Buena Vista, up in Rockbridge County, eight inches. Salem, anywhere between five and a half and six inches. Pilot, around five inches. That's in Montgomery County. Chambliceburg, Bedford County, around four inches. Dry Fork in Pennsylvania County, a little more than three and a half. Spring Valley, Grayson County, five and a half inches. Stanley Town in Henry County, five inches. Goodview, five inches. Ivanhoe in uh, Wythe County, five inches. And Penhook near Smith Mountain Lake, 3.8 inches of snow so far. The radar showing that we continue to see a lot of mixing going on. In blue, that's where we have snow. And in purple, that's where we have freezing rain and sleet. So right now, I would say it's about 50 50 as to who's seeing snow and who's seeing freezing rain and sleet. All this is pushing to the north at a clip of around about 35 to 40 miles per hour. Road conditions tonight are going to be horrible. Road conditions on Monday, especially in the morning going to be horrible. Okay, I'm hoping as the day goes on Monday, the road conditions will get a little bit better, but Monday night we'll have to watch out for the potential for some refreezing. Moral of the story here is this. If you don't have to go out about tonight or tomorrow, just stay inside. Brittany, John. A crash in Roanoke County led to major backups on Interstate 81, and now several hours later, it is still causing delays. 10 News reporter McKinley Struther kicks off our live team coverage from our storm chaser. And McKinley, what you've seen, trucks are going one by one to avoid hitting each other. Yeah, they really are, Brittany. I want to give you a look outside right now. You can see that it's essentially a ghost town here on Interstate 81. Just maybe about an hour or so ago, there were cars lined up, almost a parking lot along Interstate 81 because of that wreck earlier today. I believe we have some video of those backups earlier today. The thought process, I believe, among drivers is if they could let just a few cars go forward, then they can avoid any collision like what we saw earlier in Roanoke County. Fortunately, according to VDOT, there were no serious injuries because of that collision, but it did cause some big backups. It was a several mile backup earlier today along Interstate 81. You can see right now there's no one on the south side as we're traveling towards Montgomery County. It's hard to make out what's happening on the north side. That's where the backups were, or, and, and really that's where they continue to remain this evening. But it's hard to see because conditions have deteriorated as uh, Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowich made mention of. We'll be back with you live here on Facebook in about a couple of minutes. We'll also be back to give you another look at conditions here on Interstate 81 as our tour through the area continues at 630. For now, that is the latest along so Interstate 81. I'm McKinley Struther, 10 News, working for you. Right, thank you, McKinley. Trapped in the winter weather seems to be the theme for some in our area. 10 News reporter Alexis Davila is working for you tonight. She is live in Lexington to tell us why the city police there are ticketing cars in downtown. Alexis? That's right. Lexington police are trying to dissuade people from parking in the downtown area, especially on Main Street. Now, the wind actually blew off this sign, but these signs were put into place to warn drivers to stay out of the area so that way they can create more room for snow plows to drive through. Now, I'm telling you all this as sleet is falling down upon me, heavy, um, strong winds as well. But look at the road conditions out here. It doesn't look like it's getting any better. Now, earlier today, we noticed that strangers had to jump right in to help people as they were getting stuck on the intersection sections because of the snow accumulation. Around 1.30 this afternoon, Chris Colon and his cousin were on their way home to South Carolina when their tires spun out. The truck was stuck in a ditch on the side of the southbound lane on I-81 for about an hour. Colon says the treads on his front tires are worn and says since noon, roads have been barely visible. You cannot see the lines. Uh, people like 
those semi trucks, they they just taking the whole road over, so you can't barely see nothing. Law enforcement is asking people to stay off the roads so snow plows can pass through. Now, when driving around today, I have to be honest with you, we had to stop about a dozen of times to clean up our own windshields as we were still trying to take off some of the ice that kept building up on, on top of it. Now, on the interstate, we did notice a lot of drivers going a little too fast, so I'm urging everyone once again to please slow down on those roads if you have to travel today. Live in Lexington, Alexis Davila, 10 News, working for you. And that is a common theme that we're hearing from leaders across the area to stay off the roads. Now, city leaders in Roanoke are also urging people to stay off snow covered roads while they work to keep them passable. We got an update about two hours ago on the city's storm response. Roanoke's transportation division manager says 49 plows have been out in the city working to clear roads. Another 27 will be out during the night shift. He says while the city has dozens of people out working to clear streets and sidewalks, their priority right now is clearing main roads. The Hershbergers, Orange, Franklins, Brandons, those type of streets is where we're focusing. Uh, that's what carries the main volume of traffic. We will not be in neighborhoods until we get ahead of those streets. And what I mean by ahead of those streets is they are fully passable. Yo. Click on that. Can you look at it? Start clearing neighborhood streets overnight once the precipitation stops. Lynchburg is also dealing with freezing rain after the snow. 10 News reporter Tim Harfman is working for you live on Ward's Road in Lynchburg. And Tim, you spoke with Public Works about how they're dealing with these conditions. That's right, Brittany. Let's take a look here at Ward's Road. You can see that it's still covered in snow, but this is pretty clear compared to other roads throughout the Hill City. Now, Public Works is focused on primary and secondary roads, removing the snow, and they're, but they're also worried about this freezing rain. This freezing rain you can see there on the light posts. They're worried about that turning into ice. Now, Public Works Director Clay Simmons says they called in the plows earlier than they usually do because of a staffing shortage. Right now, they have 27 vacancies department wide. Of those, about 15 are people who would be involved in snow removal. They also have about a half dozen folks out due to COVID-19 concerns. Despite the challenge, Simmons says plows are running according to plan. They do not want the streets completely bare because of the freezing rain. I want a little bit of snow on the pavement um, because we don't want that ice getting to the pavement if we can avoid it. So uh, what you're seeing right now is pretty much things are going, going according to plan. They have two crews working 12 hour shifts. The next crew starts at seven o'clock. And obviously, as you can see, this freezing rain hitting us. They're asking everybody to stay off the road, stay inside if you don't have to be out. Live tonight in Lynchburg, Tim Harfman, 10 News, working for you. And Southside is also feeling the impact of this storm. As you can see, roads are covered in a wintry mix here in the uh, monitor beside me. And now with the sleet, there's concerns about power outages as well. 10 News reporter Duke Carter working for you live in Danville tonight. So Duke already crews are working to restore power to about two dozen customers. It's likely to get worse too. Yeah, you're exactly right, John. So, yeah, we spoke with city crews here in Danville, and they say they've been working since 9 o'clock this morning to make sure people who lost power could get that power restored. Also, city leaders say that we have public works crews been working around the clock to make sure roads like Riverside Drive behind me can actually be passable so that way drivers can get to and from their destinations. However, those customers who were without power this morning say they do plan to add an extra layer of clothing to stay warm. Some people enjoy playing outside in the freezing cold. This is actually like one of my first times riding this. Uh -huh. I just lean forward and have fun. While some people are having fun, <laughs> others are making the best of their situation because some just don't have any power. I had just woke up, the two by four on the charging and you know, I hear boom. Making it slightly difficult for some to enjoy electronics. Which sucks because I can't play my favorite game, Dragon City because there's no internet. Leaders with Dan the Utilities say the first power outage was reported around 9.30 this morning. The outage affected 18 customers in the Davis Drive and Cherry Avenue area off of Piney Forest Road. Now, leaders with Dan the Utilities say power and light crews 
are prepared to work 16 hour shifts. In fact, power crews out of Florida are in Danville to assist in case the power goes out everywhere else. We're thrilled to have JEA here, especially the number of, of uh, workers and trucks that they sent to our area. And we're pleased that this time that JEA was available to come to Danville and assist us. To make sure people can stay warm and enjoy their TV shows. Hopefully, I can't watch Euphoria. <laughs> now, Euphoria is a really adult show that kids shouldn't be watching. But anywho, we did catch up with uh, Dan, the utility crews, who say the power has been restored to those people who lived in that area. But the main message right now that you all have been echoing throughout the show, according to city leaders here in Danville, is that if you do not have to be on the road, don't go out. For now, the reporting, Duke Nar Carter, 10 News, working for you. All right, thank you, Duke. Coming up, winter weather fun. We'll show you how some Hokies are enjoying the snow before the new semester begins. Plus, an important message from VDOT. We are working for you within, with an update on the latest road conditions in southwest Virginia. Well, the New River Valley is getting hit hard by this winter storm. But that didn't stop students at Virginia Tech from having just, you know, a little bit of fun. Well, that's what you do. In right? the snow, yeah. right? 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett is working for you live from Blacksburg tonight. So, Lindsay, how are students enjoying this snow day? Well, guys, it's move-in weekend here at Virginia Tech, and this snowstorm hit at the perfect time for students to have a little fun in the snow before the semester starts. Take a listen. Well, you can see these students grab some inner tubes and sleds to hit the hills on campus. A few got creative using recycling bins and even cardboard. A couple even busted out their snowboards. One freshman told us that he's using the day to have some fun before classes start, but he's taking the fun seriously. Got to prepare for the big great snowball fight, the cadets versus civilians tomorrow at 2. Um, Trying to build a fort tonight, get ready, stock up on some snowballs. Um, yeah, just got to get prepared. Well, of course, he's talking about the annual cadets versus civilian snowball fight on Virginia Tech's campus. That's set to happen tomorrow at 2 p.m. The snowstorm did make move-in a little tricky. VT even asked families to move in on Saturday instead of today because of the weather. Coming up tonight, later on at 6.30, I'll tell you how the snowstorm threw a wrench in one family's move-in plans. Reporting live in Blacksburg, I'm Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you. Coming up, changes in the forecast as we give you a live look right now at Radford University tonight. Just how much more snow or sleet you can expect in your backyard. We want to get the very latest on road conditions from VDOT. So Jason Bond is joining us now live on the line from VDOT. Jason, thanks for joining us. Um, I drove in at about 4 o'clock this afternoon, and I was also looking at, at a lot of the traffic cams out on Interstate 81. It looks like the roads are still in, in rough shape. Can you give us a general lay of the land in terms of where the roads are the worst and the best? Well, they're still considered to be what we would call moderate condition, even on the interstates and primary roads. As we have been plowing roads since this morning, those roads have been recovering with additional snowfall and freezing rain. So we haven't been able to make much progress to see bare pavement. So as long as the precipitation continues to fall, we'll be making multiple passes over those, those major roadways. Secondary roads uh, remain covered in deep snow and ice. And so those roads, we will get to them as quickly as we can, but folks need to be patient in those neighborhoods as we're still working on the main roads. Jason, some of the images that our viewers just saw have been of cars that have been off the roads, uh, some crashes involving tractor trailers. And one of the major crashes that we've been following has been near mile marker 128. So in terms of getting that clear uh, and getting traffic moving again, can you give us an update on that? The blockage has been removed. Uh, we are still seeing some residual congestion at the 128, but uh, the, the vehicles have been uh, removed, but there is still a queue there that has not cleared from where there was a, a blockage earlier. All right, and our viewers are looking at a live picture of that right now. We can see that there's still, there's still snow coming down and there is, um, there's still a lot of snow on the road. What should drivers expect on Monday morning as they uh, head into work tomorrow? 
Well, certainly overnight, we will see additional accumulations of snow and ice. We are expecting below freezing conditions, and there's also the potential for wind that could create some down trees or even blowing snow. So it's difficult to tell you exactly what it'll be like tomorrow morning for your commute, but I would say we will be working all night to improve conditions as best we can. I would not expect bare pavement uh, places tomorrow unless we can make good progress on those interstates and primary roads overnight, but that's really just going to depend on how quickly we can get out there and how this storm tracks. All right. Thanks so much. Jason Bond, VDOT spokesperson, giving us an update on roads in southwest Virginia. You're welcome. And we are giving you a live look at this moment from our sky cam over in Blacksburg just a short time ago, seeing some people enjoying the snow. Not really good for snowballs. However, that did not stop them. We are continuing to see that precipitation across the region, but also low visibility, especially for those still seeing quite a bit of snow. When you factor in our gusty winds, as was just mentioned, you're seeing low, low visibility about a mile back towards Blacksburg, even lower in Withville down to about a half a mile, whereas here in Roanoke, a little bit better than what we've seen throughout a majority of the day. Our visibility is now at about two and a half miles and further back towards south side where we're seeing a little bit more of some freezing rain, things like that. We're seeing better visibility, but of course that only means more hazardous road conditions due to that freezing precipitation. So seeing a mixture of anywhere from snow, freezing rain, sleet, and maybe even just some cold rain out there for tonight. This is only going to continue as we head throughout the next few hours. So again, stay off the roadways if you can. Looking at our wider view of satellite, light and radar. So what we're seeing, of course, is this band here that we're watching. However, you notice some of that snow looping back around, so we're not done just yet. We do have another round of snow that will move through later this evening. It's not going to be as long lasting as what we've seen throughout the day. In fact, a lot of the snow will likely be out of here by maybe 2 a.m. or so. So snowfall totals. These are just a few more that we have for here in Roanoke, about six inches. Of course, we're likely to see more as we head towards uh, later in the evening, five and a half half for Terry's Fork and then for Fincastle Coleman store five inches Amherst you are just under four inches of snow future tracker heading into the rest of our evening we will continue again to watch that second round of snow but it's not going to be holding together very well heading into the overnight we will see a majority of that snow moving out however sticking towards the mountains as we go throughout the day tomorrow wind speeds at this moment we are going to notice that those are weakening but they are going to be picking right back up as we head into tomorrow where winter uh, storm warning stays in effect through 7 a.m. for your Monday and our temperatures they're cold, but they're actually going to start to warm up a little bit. Nothing too extreme heading into tomorrow morning. That's going to help us a little bit, but overnight lows either way are still dropping into the 20s and 30s by tomorrow morning as you're heading out the door tomorrow. If you do have to please watch out. We are dealing with a very strong wind gust heading into tomorrow. If you don't have to be out on the roads, guys, stay home. We'll have more of your uh, winter storm forecast coming up. Kids in the Star City are making the most out of the snowy weather today. Yeah, dozens of people spent the afternoon lining up on Stanley Avenue to sled with their friends, parents, and other members of the neighborhood spent the afternoon at the popular sledding spot to enjoy and have fun in the winter weather. They say it was a nice way to see and spend time with their friends outside. It's actually nice because I was on vacation and this is pretty much the colder version of snow. And I'm leaving in a few days, um, so it's nice to have snow while you're here. And I'm a snow guy, so. And you got it. There you go. Others also wanted to spend the day making snow angels, which you saw right there. Crews tend to wait to plow Stanley Avenue. Remember, neighborhood streets, it's going to be a little while before crews get to them. So kids have plenty of time to sled. Coming up, a winter weather mess due to hazardous roads. What police and VDOT crews are doing to address the backup on Interstate 81. Snow blankets the region as we give you a live look from our Virginia Tech Sky Cam. We are working for you with live team coverage across the region as we monitor this winter storm. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm John Carlin. I'm Brittany McGraw. This system has caused all kinds of headaches on the roads and your local weather authority is tracking it closely. 
Meteorologist Landy Warden is here to show us just how much snow we got so far and how much is still to come. Oh, we still have quite a bit to go. Not only just snow at this point, but that freezing rain and also sleet, which is causing some headaches across the region when it comes to our travel. We're just going to continue to watch the system at this point, mostly moving towards the northwest. However, we do have more snow on the way as we head throughout the next few hours. However, that will be a little bit more short lived than what we've dealt with throughout a majority of the day. Either way, that freezing rain rain and sleet on top of all that snow. Again, if you don't have to be on the roadways, stay home. Enjoy the snow day heading into tomorrow as well. Our visibility in some areas starting to improve, especially back towards south side where they are seeing more of that freezing rain and sleet about five miles for Danville, but you head towards Blacksburg down to a mile for visibility, half a mile for Withville and just over a mile and a quarter for Lexington. So be careful if you are on the roads. Not only that, but we're dealing with the blowing uh, the blowing snow due to how strong our wind gusts are. That's only going to continue heading into tomorrow. In fact, our winds tomorrow are going to be even stronger. So our winter weather, excuse me, winter storm warning stays in effect through 7 a.m. for your Monday for our entire region. We're looking at this precipitation ending anywhere from about 1 a.m. to I would say 2 a.m. However, holding on to that, especially as we head towards the mountains for the day tomorrow. Again, very windy out there, so watching out for that low visibility and we'll continue to bring you more updates here in just a few minutes. Brittany. We're working for you following delays due to snow on Interstate 81. That's where we find 10 News reporter McKinley Struther. And McKinley, we have seen backups. We've seen cars sliding off the road. We've seen tractor trailer crashes. All reasons why VDOT wants drivers to stay off the roads. I mean, that alone, Brittany, is enough to convince me to get off the roads. We're out here right now trying to show you people who maybe they are trying to get off the roads but they're stuck, there's nowhere for them to go. You can see that that moving vehicle. Now where we're moving, we're on Interstate 81 South. This is headed towards, say, uh, Montgomery County, but you see right across the interstate, our friends over there traveling northbound are in a parking lot, essentially. That crash happened earlier today, further up I-81 North in Roanoke County, shut the interstate down for some time, but then it created some issues and challenges for first responders. You know, typically when there is a crash on the interstate, it's tough for them to get all of first responders, all of the first responders to that scene. But now today you're gonna add in some, uh, you're gonna add in snow plows trying to get out there. They had to clear up the portion of the interstate that closed. So it just created so many challenges for them. And then even once they were able to get it back open, cars are only going about one, two, maybe three, four at a time so they can avoid any other collisions here uh, uh, moving forward. We're gonna to continue to travel along Interstate 81, get you an update, of course, here on air on 10 News at 11 tonight after the football game. And of course, anytime at WSLS.com. For now, live in a storm chase along Interstate 81, I'm McKinley Struther, 10 News, working for you. Thank you, McKinley. Public Works crews down in Danville are doing all they can to stay ahead of the storm in the south side to keep the road safe. we got a live look for you right now from Riverside Drive. This is where crews are ready to work 12-hour shifts to make sure the roads are passable. We're told this storm is difficult because of how the sleet and rain are combining with other winter weather. And if there is ice, the crews will begin salting as usual, and they are urging drivers once again to stay off the road. To avoid all unnecessary travel, stay at home. If they do have to travel, then they just need to slow down mm -hmm. and uh, be uh, aware that uh, they, they can't uh, stop uh, and maneuver on this uh, street conditions as well as they can drive pavement. And there are also power crews from Florida in town to assist Danville if the power goes out. Meanwhile, Lynchburg's Public Works Department has also been working around the clock to try and keep the streets clear. 10 News reporter Tim Harfman is back with us live from the Hill City. And Tim, you've seen more crews throughout the day. That's right, Brittany. We hit the road about 1030 shortly after the, the snow started to fall. And I'll be honest, we didn't see too many crews out within the first two to three hours. And anyone that we did see out, they had their plow blades up. But as the snow started to build up and we went throughout the day, there were more and more crews out on the roads treating these primary and secondary roadways like Ward's Road here in Lynchburg. Public Works Director Clay Simmons says that the conditions are what they expected and prepared for ahead of time. The Hill City received about two to five inches of snow. Then the conditions turned into freezing rain by early afternoon. They're asking people to stay inside if they don't have to be out. 
giving crews the chance to do their job. Just asking people to stay off the road. They're expecting road conditions to get worse as the day progresses. Um, I've been out and seen just a significant number of people on the roadway still. I would not be doing any traveling today if I could avoid it. He says they're doing their best to care for the primary and secondary roads, and they expect that work to continue through the night and into tomorrow morning. We're live here tonight in Lynchburg. Tim Harfman, 10 News, working for you. And the winter weather is also a headache in the New River Valley, so we want to check in with 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett working for you in Blacksburg tonight. Lindsay, the storm did not make for an easy move-in weekend at Virginia Tech. That's for sure. No, it did not. Students, of course, moved back to campus on Virginia Tech uh, here this weekend in Blacksburg, but this snowstorm threw a wrench in the plans for students and one parent I spoke with today. Road conditions in Christiansburg and Blacksburg were not great. They were covered in snow. Uh, ahead of the storm, Virginia Tech asked families to move in on Saturday instead of today to beat the winter weather. I talked with one father who moved his son into school yesterday and they got stuck at a hotel in Christiansburg. He didn't want to risk driving back to New Jersey today, so he and the family are holding up at the hotel until tomorrow. Oh, yeah, it will be too rough. Like, I would not take any chance to go out, you know. It's not an adventure, you know. <laughs> so it's definitely not a good time to travel. Certainly not. Well, on campus, students took the opportunity to have some fun before classes start, grabbing sleds, inner tubes, get this, recycling bins, and even cardboard. Gotta love the creativity. Whatever they could get their hands on to just hit the slopes here on campus. And a bunch of them told me that they are looking forward to that snowball fight, the traditional civilians versus cadet snowball fight set for 2 p.m. tomorrow. Reporting live in Blacksburg, I'm Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you. Thank you, Lindsay. Slick roads and freezing temperatures have created a winter wonderland in Lexington, but it's not the safest place to play, that's for sure. 10 News reporter Alexis Davila working for you live in downtown Lexington. And Alexis, you're saying now that the visibility is getting worse. Yes, fight off the urge to venture out. This is not the time to travel. I'm telling you, even though the snow out here is dry and powder-like... <laughs> the flow didn't go very well, but it's definitely out here kind of dust-like. I'm going to show you in this pile of snow how deep it is because it's accumulating very fast. I'm going to show you how up to my boots, coming a little over to my ankle area, getting inching toward my calves. That's, with all of this, mixed with those cold temperatures, it's making sure that all these streets and the sidewalks are much, much more slick than you would want to be on. Earlier today, we had some people who were dressed in layers venturing out into the downtown area, trying to find any businesses that were open. Since 10.30 this morning, snow plows have been making their rounds to clean the roads off. But with the snow falling so rapidly, plows are having to play catch up. The freezing temperatures are a big challenge, as Annalisa Fitzgerald pointed out when she was filling her bird feeder this morning. And I was only up there for five minutes and my hands were actually in pain. It was so cold, but I didn't check the temperature until I got in the car because we're going to go check on my parents a couple blocks away and saw it was 19 degrees. Fitzgerald is urging people to bring their pets inside or keep in a heated shelter to survive. Now, without these gloves, my fingertips will also be in pain as well, by all means. So if you guys can stay home, it's best to do so. Layer up, have some hand warmers with you. And if you guys end your night with some hot cocoa and marshmallows, make sure to make me a cup as well and send it to me ASAP. Live in Lexington, Alexis Davila, 10 News, working for you. Yes, let's get there Alexis that hot chocolate, those marshmallows. Two cups to go. Yes, coming up, a winter wonderland. Yeah, we'll show you how some in Southside are taking advantage of the snow day. While the snow has led to some dangerous conditions, many people took the opportunity to play in the snow. Yeah, people do that. You know, yeah. we talk about the driving and all of that, but uh, playing in the snow is a big, big deal when these things hit. And Duke Carter is working for you live in Danville tonight. So, Duke, what did you see in Southside today? 
Hey, good evening, uh, John and Brittany. Well, yeah, despite it being freezing cold, some folks actually decide to brave the elements, get outside, and play with this little thing here. And you know what? Enjoy the snow. We want to show you all some video of some people who actually went outside. This is a group of adults, young adults, uh, pretty much everybody out there at Woodbury Hills Elementary School in Danville. And so we caught up with them. Some people had trouble making it down the hill, and others gained enough speed to continue to sled into the road. We called up with one person who wanted to show off his skills and snowboarded down the hill. Take a listen to what he had to say. This is actually like one of my first times riding this. Uh -huh. I just lean forward and have fun. How does it feel going down that, uh, that hill? It's an adrenaline rush. Uh -huh. Get your real hyper. Now, once the snow slacked up a bit, many road sleds, some again had trouble downhill, but we also caught up with some people tracking their drifting skills in an empty parking lot. The driver of this Honda says she never really drove in snow when the passenger enjoyed the ride. It's my first time <laughs> driving out here in the snow like this. You know, I'm just trying to do redneck stuff, have a good time, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, trying to find all the empty parking lots, make them not empty anymore. I love the snow. I love the snow. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Anything to have fun in it. So again, while many people are get, enjoying themselves in their snow, a lot of people just want to make sure that they're safe. City crews, especially down here in Danville, are making sure folks heed that message. If you don't have to go out, don't. Just stay at home to make sure that you are not on the roads, especially with them being potentially slick later on this evening. We're going to toss it back to you on the studio. All right, coming up, your local weather authority is keeping you up to date on the latest with this winter storm. And when this weather system might be out of the region. That's what everybody wants to know when we come back. Well, this winter weather also leads to a couple of busy days for local plow companies. And 10 News reporter Annie Schroeder continues our team coverage tonight to show how they're fighting the storm with fewer staff. The Roanoke Valley is getting slammed with winter weather this weekend, which means companies like Southern Sun Landscaping will be working around the clock. We'll just be out plowing the snow, clearing the walkways, shoveling and putting down rocks on ice mount just to keep those areas so free and safe for the people that are out on the roads and trying to get to the stores and stuff like that. While the snow and wintry mix cause their own challenges, the company is also one of many dealing with a staffing shortage at the busiest time of year. Uh, every snow operator knows that you're usually working past that 12 hour limit, sometimes up to 24 or more hours. So, uh, you know, they just get good over time. I try to take care of the guys and make sure that they uh, stay warm and get some good food and hot drinks while we're out here. Despite that, Andrew Greider says his workers will try to help as many people as they can. This past week, we've been blowing up with probably 30, 40, 50 phone calls. Um, and unfortunately, at some point, I just have to start turning people away because we already have a full list. And I do try to work people in during a storm. Um, but a lot of times, if you're not already on our list, you're going to have to wait till the end till we can get to you. Over the next 36 hours or so, there are going to be dozens of plows just like this one out on the road, making sure the roads are clear. And if you have to be out, they're asking you to be cautious of them while you're driving to make sure everyone stays safe. Uh, if you don't have to go out, stay off the roads until the roads are clear, um, just because it's a whole lot easier for everybody and all the emergency personnel as well as the snowplow drivers. Drive slow, drive carefully, and uh, just remember, four-wheel drive does not mean four-wheel stop. In Salem, Annie Schroeder, 10 News, working for you. You are looking at a live picture from our Liberty University Skycam overlooking the Hill City, a winter wonderland of sorts all across southwest central and south side Virginia. You will also notice though, some low clouds around. So not only do we have very slick roads, we have reduced visibilities around. It's just a mess out there, no doubt. Let's head on over and show you some snowfall totals in Lynchburg. We've had reports of anywhere between roughly three and a half and about five inches. You'll notice also that those numbers are a little bit higher towards the Roanoke Valley. Cave Springs, six and a half inches. Newcastle, six. Grayson Town, Pulaski County, a little over five inches, a little over four inches in Evington in Campbell County. All right, here's a look at the radar. We are starting to see, at least for some of us, some breaks in the precipitation. Notice that uh, areas close to Danville, even areas uh, close to Smith Mount Lake. If you are seeing precipitation, it's incredibly light. And yes, you can see some topography here, an indication that there are some breaks in the precipitation. 
Certainly more snow happening towards the highlands. We have snow also occurring out across parts of Pulaski with Bland, not to mention Carroll counties as we speak with all this moving to the northwest at a clip of around about 30 to 35 miles per hour. You'll notice Lynchburg still seeing perhaps a snow and sleet mix while farther down to the south, say towards Alta Vista. It could be a little bit of freezing rain mixing in a sleet freezing rain mix right now in downtown Roanoke, but then you head to the higher elevation surrounding the Roanoke Valley in Roanoke County. That's where we are still seeing some snow. Friends, we are not alone in this. This is a storm that's going to impact millions upon millions of people with winter weather alerts extending from Atlanta all the way to the US Canada border in Maine. We're talking about anywhere between 60 and 70 million people impacted by this very storm we're in being impacted with right now. All right, so road conditions tonight going to be horrible. Monday, I don't expect them to be much better. Even Monday night, we're going to have refreezing. I still think the roads could be potentially treacherous as we head even into Monday night. So moral of the story here is this. If you can, please stay off the roads tonight, tomorrow, into tomorrow night. I would say by Tuesday, may start to see things getting a little better. All right, by 10 o'clock, we're going to see certainly some snow showers across the Roanoke Valley, maybe a little bit of a mix into our extreme northeasternmost counties, but you'll notice by around 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, that's when we're going to start to see this precipitation ending for the vast majority of us. Notice some West Slope snow showers continuing late tonight, even into tomorrow morning. Otherwise, on Monday, although we're going to have certainly some stubborn clouds around, the trend will be for the precipitation to kind of just go away. We still have some wind gusts over 30 to 40 miles per hour out across central parts of Virginia, including Lynchburg. You'll notice that the wind's not quite as strong, though, as you head towards the New River Valley. Winds are going to be an enormous problem heading into tomorrow. We are looking at winds sustained 15 to 30 miles per hour on Monday with gusts in excess of 40 to 50 miles per hour. Tomorrow, so windy and, yes, still oh so cold. It is going to be an incredibly blustery day out there for us on Monday. For tonight, we're going to have eventually the snow tapering off to just some West Slope snow showers late tonight. Overnight lows tonight in the 20s to near 30. Now for tomorrow, we're going to be very windy. We're going to, I think, be mainly cloudy. Highs tomorrow only in the 20s to near 30 in the mountains, outside the mountains, mid to upper 30s. Your extended forecast showing a dry day Tuesday, mostly sunny. Chance for mainly rain showers late Wednesday into Wednesday night. Thursday, Friday dry. We're going to have to watch the second half of next weekend closely as well as another rain snow mix could very well be headed our way. We'll be right back. And even though you have to be careful with this winter weather, it's not stopping a lot of people from having fun. Absolutely. Right. From scenic landscapes to family fun. Is he in shorts? He is. Yeah. <laughs> we have received some great p pictures of people enjoying the snow. We also love seeing your furry friends taking advantage of the winter fun. And the best way to share photos with us is with the uh, pin it feature. You can access pin it on WSLS.com slash pins and also through the pin it feature on our weather app. And also make sure you download the weather app for updates and straight to your phone throughout the night. Thanks so much for joining us. And we are going to see you back here after Sunday night football. Lots of playoff action happening this weekend. Pre-game coverage starts in 30 minutes at 730. Stay safe, everyone. We'll see you later tonight.